Dave Askell. I thought I'd bring you into my little shed of hot rod for a few days. We do a bit of work, uh, going to be chopping this. Want to have a little look around while you're here? This is a little 44 pickup truck we've been working on. Big budget car, but you never know where all these old get the money now, do you? But they do like a pickup. This is the exhaust we've been uh, making in the last week, bits and pieces we're doing to it. It's coming along. Nice little phallic exhaust, eh? Come in the shade. This is our little workshop. Seen better days really, but to do with cut paper, I ain't getting one. So I think we should start work on the 32 now. Anyway. Oh, this is Dave. Yeah, get back. <laughs> right, and carrying on, as you can see, I've already marked it just to save hours of boring masking up and measuring and all the rest of it. It's going to be a two inch roof chop. We're going to slant the posts. Just give the roof a small rake. Uh, let's take you around the front and I'll explain a bit more. So this is where we're going to find our little selves in a bit of trouble because a normal roof shop on a 32 is pretty standard. It comes back down. You can either add a slot in here, just put half inch in here and that will bring the post up to about there. We're not going to do that, but actually we're going to nick a bit out of there and pull these posts right back so it looks like it's moving along when you're sitting still. Uh, that's the sort of look we're after. Uh, we're going to hit a bit of trouble because obviously when you get these hinges, the hinges have to run parallel up and down. With the slanted post we're going to cock this hinge back so we'll have to address that when we come to that really. Obviously because of the, these two windows up the back here, um, when it comes to chopping it, the three windows got suicide doors so you don't get this hinge problem. And if you're doing a really low chop on a free window, you can lose the top hinge anyway. So this becomes a little bit more difficult on a five window actually. Yeah. Now I've turned into an antique dealer. What's I'll, the uh, tool of choice there, David? Uh, air saw. That'll do me. It's the first one I picked up. What you really got to do, you must cut inside this line. Uh, I'm about to make loads of noise. Well there, so the last knockings now. <clears throat> and it will be revealed. We won't have a roof.
bless that then, I'll never be able to get that back to you. these posts back. We've got a slip there there, make these a bit floppy. This is the area where we're in trouble here because at some stage we are going to have to weld these doors up. We haven't really got any major problems, we've got loads and loads of lining up to do and our next step is to section a piece out of the roof here so we can slant these posts a bit more. Uh, just go to the outside, it's still riding high at the front and it looks a bit square and all five windows tend to look square when they've been chopped. And on this one, let's try and avoid that, eh? Let's try and make it a little bit sexy. <laughs> When you bring it down, the contour here obviously becomes very, very much smaller. So we're going to need to split this up here and stretch this out a little bit. And we'll smack that all into place after. If you have a look at the other side, that's tacked up, that's been split and smacked. The roof. We've shortened our pitch just to get a little bit more lean on the post. That side's tacked together, the other side I've welded up. These bits have got to be addressed. We tacked up all around the post area. The door's roughly mocked on, it's a bit wobbly, but there you go. Uh, and we've still got to address this. Over. We've got to do a little bit down there, but we'll come back to that later. I think we'll move along to the uh, corner. So I've cut this one, tacked this one back together, uh, split it up there. You'll have to excuse my wobbly cut. And I'm going to smack this up now, and um, we're going to have to put a sliver in here and see what we got. Hopefully, we can make it quite nice. Is one you did earlier. That's the one we did earlier. You know what, any man that can do these in one is a fucking liar. That's our sliver, we tacked up there, and I think we'll come back to that in a little while. I think really I should address the door, because I've got to have a go at it at some stage or another. So this is the hinge problem. We're going to hit the hinge problem now. I've already took the door off. I'm just going to slide this hinge on, and we'll have a look. All I've done to the door so far is is do the top, that's only tacked on roughly. Door's been shortened half inch and 
And drop the two inches as well. Drop two inches, yeah. And a bit more at the front, because since you last was here, I did sneak another quarter of an inch off. But because we are going to have to straighten these, but I just need to mock them up just so we can have a bit of a butchers and see where we're going to go. And what's going to be the proposed solution to uh, the parallel hinge problem? Death by rope, I think. <laughs> or we might have to warm it up and do it properly. One of the two. Oh, I think I might have rung the bell. The car's got to go out in metal, so I think uh, it has to be half tidy, really. All that section's welded up. The wood's back inside. If you look up there, we've got all our wood back in. All these fillets were back in here. They're screwed down. All these is bolted back up. So our next stage really is to start leading it. I've cleaned it all up. Obviously there's the welds, that's why we've got to lead this. This is the leading tin, tin in paste. You don't want to fucking eat this really because it tastes like shit. Uh, you've got to put this on and tin it up. There's hours and hours of work goes into one of these roof chops. Especially when you've got to do them like this with a bit of slarty post and all that malarkey. But, I seem to have got all the way through it with no rockabilly tendencies whatsoever. <laughs> you know, you can do a roof chop without becoming a rockabilly. I seem to have survived that very well. Also, you don't actually need loads of rock and roll memorabilia on the wall, no 32 grill shells. You don't even need to listen to Gene Vincent. Although I've heard in certain cases it does help. The roll-ups help though, David. You need some good turn-ups, <laughs> actually. And a nice little chain on your belt. Although, actually, saying I got away with it, I did notice this morning that there is a slight turn-up coming. <laughs> I don't know how it's got there, but it's there. I'll we'll have to sort of deal with that at a later stage, I think. So you heat it up, wait till it goes silver. Silverish, and give it a wipe. And it's a good idea. Lots of smoke. Especially when you've got no gloves on. So it makes you inhale all the lead. And it makes your face go numb, and you'll look like you work at Boyd Collickman's garage. Place. You really want to get this like butter. And you're really waiting for it to go on the floor, I know that.
I think that's our roof shot over with actually. Uh, pull this back in, it needs a little bit more work. Uh, I think really my work here is done. When you do these, there's loads and loads of hours go into this and you need an assistant. I did have one at the start, but Friday come and he goes off for the weekend. I think he smoked half a joint and thought he was Jimi Hendrix. He ain't been back since. Uh, my last video of a roof shop was 23 years ago. So, I suppose I'll do enough one in 23 years when I'm pissing me pants and incontinent. Anyway, see you later. Hello, I'm Dave Askell. I thought I'd uh, bring you into my little... Fucking, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dave Ascot. I thought I'd bring you into my little shed of fucking hell, Ben. I've gone mad. I'm sorry about this. Bring you into my little shed of hot rods for a few days just to have a look round and we'll do a little bit of work. And I'm fucking getting tongue tied. I'm sorry, Ben. Just do, can I just do it once more, please? Do it as I'm many sorry. times as you want. And this is Dave. Let's go back in, Dave, for coming out this. Oh, ow. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Dave. This is Dave. Get under there. And moving oh. along. Is there any reason, Dave, you started round that side as opposed to this side? Yeah, I was standing over there already. Uh, Do you know what? We need lubricant. Blade in a minute. I don't want to need some oil, Dave. It's just up here. Yeah, this blade's a wanker and all, ain't it, Dave? Yeah. Sorting out a few door hinges in there for me because he got fed up with poor old Dave. Couldn't do it. Aren't you, Splodge? Yeah. Chanel. So what are you about to do Dave? Uh... Just about to start chopping this up. Actually, do you know that cat's a better, better worker than Dave? I think. <laughs> or, we might have to warm it up and do it properly. One of the two. So a bit of oxy and uh... Yeah. A bit of brute force. Yeah, it would also help if I put the right side fucking hinge on, really, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, must be lead, must be lead. In 30 years' time, they'll be going, why did they put all that fucking old lead in there? We want some plastic filler. First bit on the floor, you got that? What a useless bastard. 